Hi there everybody, this is Peps with a nice little review of the elementary OS beta. And get out of the way, kitty. But anyway, I just figured I'd just give you guys just a general walkthrough of it here because it's actually quite nice from what I've seen here. This I actually think that's just a little bit faster than what the previous release is. Uh, that release was, is actually the stable release, uh, 0.2, I believe they call it Luna. Uh, this version here is the beta. It was just released last night. Uh, this is version 0 0.3. Codename is Freya. It was called Isis, but because of tensions in the uh, Middle East, they decided to actually just rename it to Freya. I don't know what their obsession with the gods is. But our default internet browser here is actually Midori. I believe that probably a couple of you guys might have actually might have actually tried it in the past here. Now. I did actually go to open it up here, if you saw the icon actually float around a little bit there. Uh, this system is actually a bit of a low power system. I actually don't use virtual machines because I just don't. And uh, there we go. Now it looks like that's actually loading up. Yeah, there we go. And we're just going to load the page. But here is the uh, post on the uh, elementaryos.org journal about it here. Uh, they just give you a general overview of a couple changes here. And it's actually been quite popular. Yeah, i got a couple updated libraries here. It's based off of for Ubuntu 14.04.1 LTS, uh, which uses Linux kernel 3.13. It does actually now feature online accounts integration using Pantheon, uh, which is the desktop environment, which I actually quite like here. And it does have a couple of improvements to the slingshot. It does support Synapse plugins now. Now, I've, I myself, I actually haven't been using Linux for all that long here, so I don't know ex exactly how great that is. Uh, they're using GTK 3 plus 3.12, uh, which I suppose that makes it look prettier. And it does have a couple changes to Granite as well, uh, which they just give you a general overview here. And a few hundred other things. It does have a couple known bugs right now, but that's just simply because it is beta. You do fully expect to have bugs in a beta. And of course, the wonderful thing that I love about Elementary OS they have $5,000 worth of bounties, they will literally pay you to fix their operating system or their distribution. But yeah, other than that, they do give you a couple download links here. Uh, I'm going to include this link, the link for this page here in the description of the YouTube video. But uh, let's just look over it here. Now, the, t the panel that they have up here is actually called Wing Panel. And as you can see here, it does automatically cha change the contrast here to a dark when you have a full screen application and when you don't have a full screen application it goes transparent which I actually quite like. Uh, here's a slingshot launcher. It doesn't look very much different than the uh, Luna release but it's alright. Now I did actually notice that it is actually a little bit more responsive well, Pantheon itself is, compared to what Luna was. So I imagine that's a little bit more lightweight because this system that I'm running here is actually quite terrible uh, to actually even really just be doing this video on. But let me just go and just see if I can pull up the uh, about system here and see if it actually shows here. I actually just installed this about an hour ago. So this is really more or less a first impressions video. Uh, yeah, let's see here. Drag this up a little bit. Or I thought I did. But anyway, you look at this here, it does say that I have an AMD Athlon processor. It's a single core, nothing special. Like I said, it does have a great settings manager, as you can see. Pretty much just like any other settings ma manager here, it does actually have integration for extra applications and I did actually modify a little bit as well, uh, just purely for my own taste here. Let me just go and just pull this up here. And I 
actually quite like it. Uh, the music application looks no different. All it's noise by default. I don't have any music on this machine, so yeah. We can close out of that. And as you might have noticed from the window decorations, it's actually quite nice. Our uh, file manager, I forget the name of it, but it but it looks essentially like a fork of a uh, Nautilus of some some sort or maybe just looks a little bit like Nautilus and which nothing wrong about that. It do, one of my favorite things about it is that it does actually save where you last were, uh, which is which is likable and not likable at the same time, which I imagine that some of you it's great. For me, I personally like it, but that is just because now, our launcher down here, I forget what, I forget exactly what they call it. It doesn't say. No, it doesn't. But I'm actually going to be trying this out here for a full month here, just to actually get a feel for it. And, uh, I just like it all, all around. Now, let me just pull up the calendar here. As you can see, they did change a couple of the icons around. The calendar is a nice feature. I wish it had integration for other services. From, from the looks of it, it doesn't look like that it does. Maybe if I look, pull up the online accounts here. Maybe. Come on, little Athlon, you can do it. Thank you. And let's see here, user accounts. Actually, probably not even going to be user accounts. It's that online accounts there where I already clicked. Let's go back. Online accounts. And it does support Google, so maybe there's integration. I'm not going to sign into it because I just don't want you guys to see what I have on my calendar if it does integrate. I, have, I actually have a lot of stuff on there. Our default mail client is, in fact, still Geary. I love Geary. I've been using it pr primarily as my my main thing for a while, and uh, obviously I haven't got that set up yet either. The, there are some window themes that I like. It was initially all white, but as you can see now, it's got a black theme on some of the windows. So your video player and your terminal, from what I've seen so far, actually have the this beautiful black window design to it here. And let's pull up the about here, see if it gives us a name. The terminal that it uses is the Pantheon terminal. I suppose they probably just put Pantheon in the name of everything. But it does look a little bit more responsive. Now, I am recording right now, so it, there is a bit of a tax on my system. It's not normally this slow. But yeah I like it I'm gonna try this out for a month here and then I'll just and then I'll post another video uh, probably either in a couple of weeks or about this t time next month that will actually going to give you guys just a general overview of uh, what I found that I liked about the system so far but that's pretty much what it looks like I mean I've always liked Elementary because it always looked beautiful. And, uh, I'm not really much of a Mac person myself, but it does look a little bit like Mac OS X, which some, peop some people like, other people hate, but that's perfectly fine with me. It works. Oh yeah, that's really about it for the video so far. Not a very long one. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's about that's about what I'm gonna do this year. I'm gonna post back here in probably about a month here, just to tell you guys what I thought about it, using it as my primary operating system because I like I like to do that. Just try something out for a full month and see how it goes. Anyway, leave some comments here. Uh, just 
giving me tips here tips here on what I should use I I've actually only been using Linux here for about three months so I'm still learning how the 